And with that finality, let's get things going. Good morning, everybody. Good morning to the room. Good morning to those not in the room that are joining online. And welcome to just after 9.30 on Friday morning, the graveyard slot, uh, at the for Conferences, um, on Kate, Jerry, and, and my session, Pushing the Boundaries. Um, I'm going to speak for just a couple of minutes. I'm going to do the thing which I should do far more often, which is speak less, so I can listen more. Um, maybe that's me pushing at my own boundaries, maybe. There. <laughs> um, and in an attempt to do that, I'll just start with a very simple, brief introduction about why we are here talking about this subject in the way that we will be this morning. Four years ago, or oh, it might have been five, I should have checked this, four years ago, okay, Kate and I uh, ran a session on exploring failures at a personal project level in an attempt to open up a dialogue, open up a conversation on the subject of the legacy of the work we do and specifically finding a space to share some of those stories. A year later we moved the dialogue on a little bit more to talk about some more systematic failures, systemic failures maybe even, at a more sectorial level. Both of those sessions promoted very interesting conversations, but they did make us realise one thing, that we could potentially draw together conversations about innovation, about doing things differently, and also about how we deal with projects that don't go the way we want them to. And I think the natural evolution from those two things is the session we have today, where we're really exploring the boundaries that may constrain us from being able to explore some of those different ways of working. Um, so what I'd like you all to do today as we're participating, and it's participation, I know you all love doing that, <laughs> participating in this, in this session, is when we're listening to the various speakers, really think about challenging them when we have an opportunity to discuss it afterwards, challenging them about whether we're talking about pushing boundaries, whether we really are talking about doing things differently or are we just talking about doing it a bit differently? Is this an opportunity for step change today? Or what do we need to get ourselves into the right mind space to be able to put forward that step change? So, rather hilariously, I didn't introduce myself properly, did I? So, um, Rob Sutton, Director of Heritage Consultancy at Cotswold Archaeology, but that does allow me to introduce the second amigo, Kate. Hi everyone, uh, Kate Geary from CIFA, um, you know me, and um, I'm hoping that we're joined online by Jerry Waite, who is our third um, amigo in this, in this endeavour. Um, Jerry's not able to join us um, today because he's one of those people who was sadly struck down with COVID in the, on the, in the run-up to, uh, to conference, but um, he he's, he's, um, assures us his symptoms are improving and hopefully he's somewhere out there following our, our progress um, and be, will be able to contribute online later. Um, I just wanted to very quickly say, um, before we move on to, um, to our speakers, that one of the reasons that, that, that we wanted to run the session and that, that Rob and I and others have been talking about this, um, there are two phrases that I really hate. Um, one is, we've always done it this way. And the other is, but the rules say we can't do that. And from a CIFA perspective, in a self-regulated profession, we write the rules, and if they don't work for us, we can come together and change them. And that's what we really wanted to explore in this session, is do the, or one of the themes we wanted to explore, do the structures and the rules we have, the constraints that we impose on ourselves and that we accept through our accreditation, actually enable us to deliver the archaeology that we want to deliver to the public? Or are they constraining us and channeling us into a very narrow view of practice? Um, so. That's what I hope we can come back to in, in some of the discussion later on. Rules, rules are there to be broken, but broken with purpose, I think. So that's our, that's our message today, is let's think about those rules and think about that purpose. So I think, without further ado, I will hand over to our first speaker, um, who is Peter Hinton, and who is going to tell us about uh, a changeable set of principles, I hope. 